3 into 4 into 5. It starts with 1, 1, 2, 3. It is in order. So directly I can write this as plus means summation. Given problem is summation. Means 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus so on. N terms is sum of N terms. Sum of N terms is sigma N. Sigma N is N into N plus 1 by 2. Given term, we use general term in AP. What is general term in AP? AN is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. So these are the formats we use to solve the problems of exercise 9.4. Please sit and revise the formula. So the given problem can be written like this. Or otherwise, see here, all the first terms, 1, 2, 3, they are in AP. A plus N minus 1 into 2, if you do, you will get N. So 1 plus 2 plus 3, so on. N is what? Sigma N, sigma N is what? N into N plus 1 by 2. 1 square plus 2 square plus... Welcome to the session, dear students. Today, we'll go ahead with special series. That is problems of the exercise, including special series. See, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus so on, till n terms, we call it as sigma n. Sigma n, if you apply AP and simplify SN formula, it will be n into n plus 1 by 2. Sigma n means 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus so on n terms is sum of n terms. Sum of n terms is sigma n. Sigma n is n into n plus 1 by 2. And the second important format is 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square plus n square is simplified as sum of means sigma n square, sigma n square. In the place of n, you put 1, 2, 3. So, sigma n square is what? n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6. And the last important format is 1 cube, 2 cube, 3 cube, so on till n cube. We call it as what? Sigma n cube. Sigma n cube is Sigma n cube is square of this, that is n square into n plus 1 the whole square divided by 2 square is 4. So, these are the three important special series, special sum of n terms you should remember. What is sigma n? n into n plus 1 by 2. Sigma n square n into n plus 1 by n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 by 6. Sigma n cube is n square into n plus 1 the whole square by 4. Please become thorough with these three formats. Other than this, we have sigma constant. Sigma constant is constant into n. Meaning is simple. If I add 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 3 times, it is 15 or 3 times 5. So, n times means n. So, like that k plus k plus k 3 times is 3k. So, k plus k plus k n times. k plus k plus k plus k n times is nk. So that's why summation of constant is constant into n. So these are the three formats you should be thorough with. So we call them as what? Special series. What are the special series you should remember? Sigma n. What is sigma n? n into n plus 1 by 2. And then you should know the other one that is sigma n square. What is sigma n square? Sigma n square is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6. Then the last but important that is sigma n cube. What is sigma n cube? That is n square into n, n plus 1 the whole square by 4. So these three formats and the last but important sigma constant. What is sigma constant? Sigma k is kn. So please become thorough with this formula. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 so on n is what? Sigma n. Sigma n is what? n into n plus 1 by 2. 1 square plus 2 square plus so on n square is what? Sigma n square. Sigma n square is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6. 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube so on n cube is sigma n cube. Sigma n cube is n square into n plus 1 the whole square by 4. So these are the summations which you should be thorough with. Further, so now they'll ask you to simplify. We will go ahead with the problems of exercise 9.4. 1 into 2 plus 2 into 3 plus 3 into 4 plus 4 into 5. See, we can write this as 1 into 2 is one term plus 2 into 3 is other term plus 3 into 4 is another term plus 4 into 5. So, sum of the terms it is. So, dear students, it starts with 1. I can write n. This is n plus 1. n into n plus 1. Summation sigma. 
So the given problem can be written like this or otherwise see here all the first terms 1, 2, 3 they are in AP. A plus N minus 1 into 2 if you do you will get N. Second terms uh, 2 plus N minus 1 into D you will get second term or you can see 1, 2 this is N this is N plus 1 like that it goes on. See this is N plus 1, N plus 2. So the given series can be compressed as N into N plus 1. So now how to simplify this? Multiply N into N is N square n into 1 is n. So, sigma n square into n. Now, apply sigma for both. So, now the given problem is sigma n square plus n. Apply sigma for both. That is sigma n square plus sigma n. Sigma n square formula, you know what is sigma n square? n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6. So, you should memorize all the values of sigma n square and sigma n. What is sigma n? Sigma n is n into n plus 1 by 2. Now, in these two terms, n into n plus 1 by 2 is common, I will take it out, n into, so I will take n into n plus 1 by 2 common, so I am left out with 2n plus 1, 2n plus 1 divided by 2 I have taken, so it will be 3, plus n into n plus 1 by 2 I took it out, it will be plus 1, simplify this further, so that is, that is, outside we have n into n plus 1 and by 2 and internal term take LCM. If I take LCM, it will be 3. So, it will be 2n plus 1 plus 3. So, further simplify, it will become n into n plus 1 by 2 into 2n plus 4 by 2. Again, I can take uh, by 3, sorry. So, in numerator, I can take 2 common. So, n into n plus 1 into, if I take 2 common, it will become 2 into n plus, n plus 2 by what 3? Here we have by 2. So now 2 to cancels. So we left out with n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 divided by 3. This is a summation. Dear students, first this is 1, 2, 2, 3 like this. So how we got n into n plus 1? So here not necessary. Just so here this is first term n, this is n plus 1. Or here all the first terms. So 1, 2, 3, they are in AP. What is the general term in AP? General term in AP is what A plus N minus 1 into D. If you use this, what is A? 1, 1 plus N minus 1 into common difference. Common difference between 1 and 2 is 1. So, it will become 1 plus N minus 1. So, 1, 1 cancels. You will get first term as N. So, that is how I will write this first term as what? N. And then second terms. So, I will take all the second terms. Second term means what? 2, 3, 4, 5. 2, 3, 4, 5 they are in AP. So, what is A? 2 plus n minus 1 into common difference. What is the common difference? 1 again. So, it will become 2 plus n minus 1. So, 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 plus n or I can say n plus 1. So, second term I will get n plus 1. So, this is n into n plus 1. So, summation, summation means sigma. So, that is how, that is how we will write this as sigma n into n plus 1. So, now multiply n into n is n square, n into 1 is n. Now, sigma means summation. So, I apply summation. So, sigma n, sigma n square plus sigma n, sigma n square formula. I told in the beginning of the class, sigma n square, what is sigma n square? n into n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 by 6. So, I should remember sigma n, sigma n square, sigma n cube. So, now, we apply that. So, sigma n square is n into n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 by 6 plus sigma n is n into n plus 1 by 2. Now, further n into n plus 1 is common, take it out. For 6 and 2, 2 is common, take it out. We are left out with this 2 n plus 1 by 3 because 2 is already out. And this whole term is already out. So, it is 1. Take LCM. If I take LCM, it will become 3 and 1 plus 3 becomes 4. And in these two, I can take 2 common. If I take 2 common, this 2 and outside 2 cancels, we will have n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 by 3. So, just simplify and leave it. This is summation. Hmm. We will go to the next problem. So, here three terms are there if you see. 1 into 2 into 3 plus 2 into 3 into 4 plus 3 into 4 into 5. It starts with 1, 1, 2, 3. It is in order. So, directly I can write this as plus means summation. Given problem is summation. First term is n. Next, this is one more. That is n plus 1. Then this is one more. This is n plus 2. So, they give n into n plus 1 into n plus 2. Summation, sigma. Plus means what? Add all. Add means sigma. So, now simplify the terms. n into this. If you multiply n into n is n square plus n into 1 is n plus into what is left out? n plus 2. Again, we should multiply. Sigma, let it be. n square into n is n cube. n square into 2 is 2n square 
plus n into n is n square plus 2 into n is 2n. So now n square into n is n cube, n square into 2 is 2n square, n into n is n square, n into 2 is 2n. Further we will simplify, that is equal to sigma, we have n cube. So 2n square plus n square is 3n square, like terms, plus 2n. Now I should apply sigma for each term. So sigma n cube plus sigma 3n square plus sigma 2n. What is sigma n cube? Sigma n cube is n square into n plus 1 the whole square by 4 by formula. And remember, if you have sigma k into n square, you can take the constant out. So 3 you take it out, apply sigma for n square and here 2 is constant, take it out, apply sigma for n. So here we have 2n. So now further n square into n plus 1 the whole square by 4 plus 3 times, what is sigma n square? Sigma n square is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6, the formula for sigma n square. And 2 is constant, we took it out, sigma n, what is sigma n? n into n plus 1 by 2. You know, further we need to simplify this, so I can cancel 2 to, so in all the terms you can take common, so what you can take common? n is common, n plus 1 is common in all the terms and further 4 and 6 are there. So in this 2, I can take 2 common, by 2 I will take it out. If I take by 2, what is left out? So numerator is n into n plus 1 in the first term and 2 is uh, taken out, so it will be 3 plus here, sorry, 2 if you take out, 4 is there, it will be 4 is there. See here we have 4, so in this 4 I took 2 out, so remaining we have 2. And then further we have 3, see 3 by 6, sorry, further before we simplify, we can cancel 3 1s are, 3 2s are. So here we'll have 2, 2 is out. So if you take 2 out, so we n, n into n plus 1 by 2 is out, so we will be left out with just 2n plus 1 plus n into n plus e. In this, n into n plus 1 you have taken out. And uh, what else is taken out? By 2 is taken out. So Dear students, if I want to take common, so let us not cancel this. 2 by 2, let it be. Because 2, 2 is here. Here 4, I have took 2 common. So if I take common 2, so here I am left out with what 2. Now simplify this. Outside I have n into n plus 1 by 2. However you want, you can simplify. Take LCM. What is the LCM? 2 is the LCM. n into n plus 1. And 2, if you multiply, it will become 4n plus 2. Plus 2, 2 is a 4. Further simplify this, so n into n plus 1, I will take this 2 out, so 2 2s are 4, so we are left out with n square plus n plus 4n plus 2 plus 4 is 6, that is n into n plus 1 by 4 into n square plus 5n plus 6 by, that's it. So now this is a quadratic equation which you can factorize. So factors for 6, what are the factors for 6, 6, I should get middle term 5, so I can take 3 twos are. So this n square, I will take this n square plus 5n plus 6, I am taking this separately, can I write it as n into, sorry, n square plus 3n plus 2n plus 6, further you can take n common, so it will become n plus 3, 2 common, n plus 3, you can write it as n plus 3 into what n plus 2. So dear students, I can write this term like this. So the given problem becomes n into n plus 1 into by 4 into this quadratic equation can be written as n plus 3 into what? n plus 2. So this is the final answer. So finally, finally the summation. So summation is equal to, so sorry, summation is equal to a. Finally, summation is n into n plus 1 into n plus 3 n plus 2. In order, we'll write. I'll write n into n plus 1 into, then I'll write n plus 2, then I'll write, sorry, then I'll write n plus 3 by what? 4. So, part of you got this. Now, 3 into 1 square plus 5 into 2 square plus, see here, very interesting, 3, 5, 7, they are in AP. 3, 5, 7, they are in AP. 
So find the general term. Use what? A plus n minus 1 into d common difference. A is the first term 3 plus n minus 1 into common difference between 3 and 5 is 2. So that is 3 plus 2n minus 2. That is 2n plus 3 minus 2 is 1. 2n plus 1. So now I can write this sequence as 2n plus 1 times. Here we have 1 square, 2 square, 3 square. That is n square. So given problem can be written as sigma 2n plus 1 into n square. Further, if you multiply 2n cube plus n square sigma. Now you can apply sigma. So sigma 2n square plus sorry 2n cube plus sigma n square. So now we need to simplify. Sigma 2n cube plus sigma n square. So you know 2 is constant, take it outside, apply sigma for n cube and sigma for n square. And sigma n cube, you know what is sigma n square? n square into n plus 1 the whole square by 4. And sigma n square is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6. Further, you can simplify this. 2 1s are 2 2 are. And what is common? I can take out n into n plus 1 common. By 2 also I will take common. So I will be left out with n into n plus 1 one more term. And by 2 is already out plus here n into n plus 1 is out. So only 2n plus 1 is left out. Divided by 2 is taken common. So it will be 3. Now further simplify n into n plus 1 by 2. Take LCM. LCM is 3. 3 into n into n plus 1 plus 2n plus 1. So now further simplify this. We will have n into n plus 1 into by 2 into. So if you simplify this, we will be left out with 3n square plus 3n plus 2n plus 1. By what? 2 by 3, this 3 you take it out. So now I will write n into n plus 1 by 6. Now this is 3n square plus 5n plus 1. So now this is a quadratic equation. 3 1s are 3. Or further you can factorize this. Mm, yep. Yeah. So now 2n plus 1 by 3. 3n square plus 3n. This is we are left out with just So now further 2n plus 1, 6 here, you can leave it here. Say, dear students, here this is better because it is in standard form n into n plus 1 into here n into 3n square I can write at a time n if I multiply. And otherwise 2n, okay, summation this is. In between we have summation. Okay, leave it here, not an issue. Or if you want, reduce it into standard form or you can leave it here, it is right. So I hope all of you understood special series. So in special series, we have done summations of the problems like this. Sorry. So now let me summarize what we have discussed. That is, you should be thorough with sigma n. What is sigma n? n into n plus 1 by 2. And sigma n square, what is sigma n square? n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6. And sigma n cube, what is sigma n cube? n square into n plus 1 the whole square by 4. And very interesting, sigma constant is constant into n. And sigma constant into n, if you have, you can take constant outside and apply sigma n. And if you have constant into n square, again, you can take constant outside and apply sigma for n square. Or if you have any constant into n cube, again, take the constant out, apply sigma n for cube. So we use this. And to compress the given term, we use general term in AP. What is general term in AP? An is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. So these are the formats we use to solve the problems of exercise 9.4. Please sit and revise the formula and start solving the problems. I hope all of you understood. I will see you in my next session. Thanks for attending. Thank you.